More than a dozen arrests have been made after some off-campus parties in Providence got out of hand over the weekend. NBC10's Tony Gugliotta has that story. Discarded cups, empty bottles, and beer boxes left over after hundreds of college students flooded the streets of the Elmhurst section of Providence for a traditional street party to celebrate the return to school. The students call the annual party a golf tournament. The idea is to visit 18 different houses on the street and to drink at each of them. Obviously, if they're college kids, they're going to want to party. Providence College officials know this and take precautions. This year, the school tells us that it hired nine police patrol officers to do a detail in the neighborhood during the festivities. NBC10 has learned that three additional officers had to be brought in for backup. Police confirmed to NBC10 that 13 arrests were made but would not confirm the charges. The school tells us that if a student is arrested, he or she will have a hearing to explain their side of the story. But it's not just PC students getting in on the fun. Providence College officials say that students from other colleges live in the neighborhood as well. In fact, according to Stephen Morano, the Associate Vice President of Public Affairs, the population of PC students has dropped from merely 1,700 to less than 700 in recent years. Nonetheless, these orange signs dot houses along Eaton Street put there by police to deem the building a party house. Violators of the law who live in these homes are subject to large monetary fines because of the orange sign designation. Providence College administrators say they're always working with police and local landlords to try to mitigate party problems in the neighborhood. Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.